Okay guys, um, good morning, it's John B 3 ips I wanted to show you something here quickly. I just got a long wire here. Pelican 1400 case. And I've got my instruction sheets in here. And so, yeah, what I wanted to show you was this uh, QRP Ranger the ICOM 703. Okay, so there is a cable in the back and it turns out to be the perfect length. Wish I had an extra extra inch there. I don't, but anyways, that's that. Um, the other thing I have is a cable I made up here. Uh, five amp fuse little Hammond box, little cable on it. It's just because the 703, I cut the cable off it. I, I didn't want this 16 foot cable on it. Um, so uh, we'll go with this one. But because there's no fuse on it, I have a fuse in here. I have a five amp fuse. So you can go ahead and plug that into that. Antenna connections in the back. Got a ground on it as well too. So I'm just running a a long wire here just so we can have a, a listen to what's going on so QRP Ranger volts amps um, made in the USA hardened power systems on the back there's the solar charging port as well as that ports also for the included charger so I could charge up the 8 amp hour uh, lipo battery um, it's also an indicator light at the back. Very nice for when you get this thing set up and going. So, that's the radio there, 13.1 volts. That's pretty much the resting voltage for um, a LiPo battery, 13.1, 13.2 volts. So, also got a power switch in the back and, uh, sorry, an Anderson pull jack in the front, one in the back. So, let's turn the radio on. <laughs> Drawing about 600 milliamps, which is about right for this radio. And bingo, 10 meters is open. Victor Echo 3, India, Papa Sierra, India, Papa Sierra. Victor Echo 3, India, Papa Sugar, QRP. I don't think he's going to hear us. We're only running 10 blocks, long wire. Victor Echo 3, India, Papa Sierra, QRP. Yeah, okay, so we got North Americans probably running 100 watts with a Yagi coming in 5.5, so my QRP signal is not really going to work, but anyways, let's uh, we'll see what's happening on 14. Actually, let's go to... It's on 29.6 FM. Okay, band up. Well, we got something on 29.5. Beacons. 
Lots of, lots of noise in an urban environment, right? That's what. As you can see, very, very noisy. It's a long wire, urban environment. Just sitting in the backyard here. So anyways, a uh, couple amps on transmit. Um, I think the radio set at five watts based on the transmit. And uh, we can change that in the, the power le level in the, uh, the menus. But the nice thing about the ICOM 703, it's got the built-in tuner. Hardened power systems, eight amps, LiPo battery. I could run a 50 watt radio, FTA 91, put it on top. I could run that for sure, three, four hours. Um, 703 only draws two amps, so I can you know, run this radio for uh, oh, four to six hours, no problem, depending on my uh, transmit time. Again, solar power. Solar panel could be uh, charged on this. What I use for solar power panels right now, I've standardized on power film. I have a rollable and a couple of foldables. Very high quality. It's a little bit more expensive than uh, some of the other stuff, but you know what? You buy once, you cry once, buy cheap, buy twice, right? So buy, buy, buy the best you can afford and buy quality products. So yeah, not bad. Just a quick view of the QRP Ranger, as you can see. It's no problem on top of the, the 703. 703 also has the portable zero rails on it. Highly recommended. Anyways, guys, 73, sketch out in the field.